Hello friend, welcome to Stack Phi and if you help me to solve today's physics problem till the end of the video, then you get a cookie. So let's go. Hey what is up everyone, I hope all of you are doing great and it's good to be back after a very long time. In today's question we have two flask A and B made of conducting materials are connected by a thin tube. Okay, so this is the tube. Two valves C and D are installed on the tube as shown in the figure A and B. Initially both the flasks are evacuated and the valves are closed. Now the valve D is open. So first this one is opened and ideal gas is filled in flask B at pressure P. Uh, valve D is closed. Okay. Uh, when the valve C is opened, the pressure in the flask B drops by amount del p so initially it was p then it uh, falls to p minus del p right because by an amount del p if the volume of the flask b is vb what is the volume of flask k mm, so pretty easy question things to remember here that they have mentioned that the flasks are the material is conducting material so for conducting material of course uh, there will be quick transfer of heat or exchange of heat um, hence the temperature will be constant okay and uh, one more thing that it is an ideal gas okay and uh, another thing after transferring the gas in flask B this knob is closed so the total number of moles will remain constant okay so n will also remain constant because the gas that is present in B will only be distributed to a okay so let us go to the solution the solution is pretty small so this is the initial situation when this valve is closed and this is open when the ideal gas is being transferred in flask B so in pressure P okay so this will be the equation where n is the number of moles and T is the surrounding temperature because of course the temperature will be equal to the surrounding temperature as the material is made up of a conducting uh, it is conducting okay um, fine so gas is here now what happens this is closed this is opened at at any instant some amount of gas will be transferred here uh, let us consider at that instant the pressure of flask B is PB volume remains constant of course and pressure of flask A is PA so we can say that PA VA plus PB VV equals to Na plus Nb Rt where this thing is constant of course as we have discussed earlier now if you differentiate both side we get something like this okay so Va equals to del P B Vb by del P A of course there will be a negative sign here now as we know when equilibrium condition is reached okay when equilibrium condition is reached the pressure the change in pressure of flask B is del P of course there should be a negative sign here also because there is a drop of pressure so del P B is minus del P just put the value here and when equilibrium state is reached the pressure in both the flasks will be same so final pressure of flask B is P minus del P of course final pressure of flask A will also be P minus del P so change in pressure of flask A is P minus del P so just put the value in this equation you will get the volume of flask A so according to our question option A is our correct answer okay so I hope you all have found this video helpful and informative and JE advanced date has been announced I hope you all are preparing well for your exam and I wish you all the best and a very good luck. Peace. Take care. As you have come to the end of the video, you get a cookie. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Take care.